I did as I was told! Followed every order I was given! The facts suggest otherwise! You were ordered to retrieve the artifact. You failed to do so! Take it up with Minthora! She's the one who... Enough! A blast of mental energy washes over you, filling the room. Your tadpole squirms, urging you to obey. You failed to retrieve the artifact. You failed to protect your true soul. You do not deserve to live. You ain't serious. You can't be. General Thorne? Let our newest arrival speak. You have seen what these creatures are capable of, and you have seen their inadequacies, isn't that so? What is your judgment? We did as we were told! We're loyal to the Absolute! Kill him! Enough! True soul, tell the General how the goblins served our cause. Good to be appreciated. I'm sure they were very enthusiastic. But zeal without efficacy is for children, not servants. We are too close to the ending and the new beginning. I can coddle failure no longer. Kill them quickly. Creaking old bag of shit! I'm so sorry, my lord. She's an unbeliever outside my control. Try again. <laughs> Dispose of the rest as you see fit. Or better yet, Put that true soul to use. You have far more important matters to attend to. Or have you forgotten? Of course not, my lord. Thank you. You heard the general. The goblins are yours. Deal with them however you wish. They are yours. You can release them, kill them, or feed them to each other for all I care. Just deal with them. Here, in the seat of the Absolute's power, your authority over them is complete. They will obey any command. Report to me upstairs when you're done. Yeah, you ain't gonna do anything drastic, are ya? We've been nothing but loyal! Praise the Absolute, and praise you, true soul! Zarel won't be pleased about this. She strikes me as the type to enjoy a little bloodshed. Unshackled from shadows, she will rise in moonlit glory and carve a path of brightness to the accursed one's second death. So saith the wise Alondo. That beacon of angelic wrath has taken the fight to Catherick on the rooftop. In the first line of defense, are dead. But storming the tower won't be easy. And if we wait too long, Catherick will gather his strength and retaliate. For now, though, he's on the back foot for the first time since he returned from the grave. This is it. The spearhead moment. You brought us this far. So how shall we proceed?
If you're hunting one target among many, the key is to isolate and corner it. My Harpers and I will be the noose that closes in around Ketherick, and as it tightens, you go in for the kill. Floric left some of her flaming fist. They'll scout the prisons and the barracks below to ensure we're not taken by surprise. Say the word, and we're off. At the ready, Harpers! In this alight, there will be victory. In this alight, we will avenge the fallen! <sighs> the time has come. Gatherick will taste of death at last. You... You freed the Night Song. Fascinating to see someone so favored squander the regard of the Absolute. How very sad. Like a kitten roaring at a tiger. Boys, make them bleed. You... What have you done? What have you done to me? Impossible. You are a thrall. A slave. You serve the Absolute. You serve me. Bow, you dog. it is to see you again, Catherick. At last you found a godmaster that suits you, it seems. Halen, the thief. You stole Isabel from me, and now you think you'll take my life in the bargain? You dare to speak her name. After your crimes innumerable, you would evoke her before me! Enough! This ends here and now, at last. He will crumble at the power of your touch. Give him all you have. The gods fight at our side! Enough. My lord beckons me. Ah! You must return to your prison, and my daughter must be reclaimed. Your daughter? Isabel. Call that a tactical retreat, I'm sure. But you have him on the run. That thing he summoned was illicit. Follow it below and find him, before he has a chance to subdue the Night Song again. Better they stay here, and hold the tower should Ketherick's army catch wind of our assault. But if you have room for one lone soldier, I would face Ketherick by your side. Lead and I follow, Commander. The hole yawns back at you, impossibly wide. 
a single tentacle burrowed through stone. to the source of the infections. No longer a background murmur, the presence in your mind builds to a roar. We found it. The Absolute is behind this door. You said it was under control. It isn't you I answer to, Gortash. Motherfucker! Gortash! Oh, the general voice. Is this where we salute? Salute, yes. With cleavers through his blood-starved flesh. How it crawls with failure. Like flies on lick-wet carrion. You forget yourself, Orin. I have played my part. You have built an army for our masters, true enough. But what of the astral prison? A rogue true soul flaunting it under your nose all this time. And you ran from her. Sure that they would follow and deliver it into my hands here. If you would cease these distractions. The distractions have been yours, Ketherick. Perhaps we never should have dug your daughter up. <sighs> so you haven't lost your edge. But you're still not as sharp as Orin, I wager. The Slayer against the Undying One. That'd be fun to see. His crypt breath sings to my sinews again, 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 again. But he must lead the murder march to Border's grave. If the weapon is truly in your grasp, Ketherick, might I suggest closing your fist? Orin and I can wait for you no longer. The plan proceeds. We're going to the city and we expect you to follow army and the weapon in tow. The Edict of Bane! The Lash of Bane! and most powerful creatures in existence, enslaved by mere mortals. Look at that crown. It radiates with power unlike anything I've ever seen. To have it. To hold. Oh, if only I could. But I can't. This is it. I must do as Mistra commands. What choice do I have? More than just a goddess counts with my courage. Whole worlds hang in the balance. I love you too. Much more than myself. More. Even than Mistra. Very well. Whether I condemn this world or not. I choose you. There we are. It wouldn't do to fight in front of our guests. Behold, Duke Ravenguard. The Absolute. Who will preserve us? You wag your word flap in vain, Alderling. 
Once the worm holds the whip, your shredded flesh will serve us. Now, it's really time we were going. We will empty this place and begin the march. You may catch up with the army once you've retrieved the weapon. And Ketherick, do try not to sulk. You're supposed to be the fearsome general come to conquer the city. And I am the hero who will save it. It is time, faithful ones. March on Boulder's Gate. We go to prepare the way. There you are, as predicted. What is it, I wonder, that draws one toward death like a moth to light? You could have run away, absconded with the prism. The one thing that could prevent me from fulfilling my destiny. But the lure of one's destiny is irresistible, isn't it? Perhaps you hope to learn your place in history before you are erased from it. A bright flash of clarity before the snuffing out. Impossible. You are bound to it, and in death it will bind you to me. That is the power my Lord Merkel has granted me. Command over the immeasurable legions of the dead. But he did not only give me power, he gave me the one thing no other god could grant me. My daughter's life returned, her heart beating once more. For that, he asked that I serve as his chosen. Join Orin and Gortash to grow the cult of the Absolute, and then take control of it. He's never had a more devoted follower. I have fought great wars before, in the service of other gods and other powers. But for Merkel, I would condemn all of Faerun to death. You are all that stands between me and my destiny. And you have brought the prism here. I will kill you now. And then I will raise you as my servant. Yes. Join the army of the dead, true soul. Witness Lord Merkel's glory. What a fool you are. You cannot kill me. I am eternal. Merkel. Lord of Bones, I am here. I am ready. I am yours. You dare end one who belongs to me.
impossible. Death cannot take me. I am its master. My lord, hear me. Nothing. I am forsaken. You. You have no idea what you've done. Uh, Isabel! Fealty. Do what you must, then we fly this foul place. In death, the body is cooling, but energy radiates from the stone. picture comes together. The Absolute is neither God nor man. It? Perhaps not a cure, but you've found the source of your infection, and the reason for its abnormality. The crown atop the Elder Brain. Its markings suggest it was forged in Netheril, an ancient empire whose mastery over magic rivaled that of the gods. The Crown's Netherese magic must be the true source of the Parasite's abilities. This must be what elevates their potential. And it must be the reason nobody could heal you. If the Crown can do this to the Parasites, I dare not imagine what it is doing to the brain. Netherese? These Chosen are powerful indeed to have such magic in their command. One of them I know. Lord Enver Gortash, an arms dealer and a slaver, a worshipper of Bane, the god of tyranny. The other is a mystery to me, but the way she spoke, it's most likely she follows Baal, the god of murder. Ketherick was a follower of Merkel, which means the Absolute is a front for the gods of death, and our enemies are the chosen of the Dead Three. Hope is a luxury for those who have a choice. This is the battle of our lives, and the lives of everyone in Faerun. The army of the Absolute is marching on Baldur's Gate. Within the city, an elder brain brimming with power, ready to turn everyone within its reach into mind flayers. All it needs is an order. An order the Death God's Chosen are on the cusp of giving. We must wrest control of the brain from the Chosen before that happens. We must take their stones. Our chances of success are slim, but we must not fail. If we fail, everything ends. I will be your shield, but you must be the sword. And when the chance to strike comes, you must take it. For there may only be one chance. You saw Gortash, didn't you? What the fuck was he doing down there? Is all of this because of him? The tadpole, the absolute. How? I'd never have protected a Bainite even a decade ago. I looked after that fucker with my life. I trusted him. He gave me away to Zariel without a second thought. And now he's looking to ruin the entire Sword Coast. 
He has to die. And I'm gonna be the one who kills him. You bet your ass I am. And I won't stop till that fucker is dead. Pearl. I can't help but feel like I've been fumbling in the dark for too long. And I've just had a lit torch thrust into my hands. The crown! The one the Elder Brain was wearing. The one I very nearly destroyed. Netherese magic. So pure, so complete, that I didn't even recognize it at first. Most Netherese artifacts contain only the faintest amount of their former power, the ghost of an echo of a memory. That crown was different. I can't fathom how such a wonder survived. Surely everything of its ilk was destroyed along with Netheril itself, but no matter, it exists. I must learn more of it. I know what nearly happened, and I'm sorry for putting you in that position. But I've stepped back from the precipice now. I've seen what may prove to be another way. A better way. That crown sits on a gargantuan elder brain bent on destroying us and everything we hold dear. Understanding its true nature might unlock the means of our victory. We need to learn more about what we saw. An artifact as powerful as that crown must have been documented somewhere. As luck would have it, we'll soon find ourselves near one of the finest book collections this side of Candlekeep, Sorcerer's Sundries. I need to go there and learn all I can. The only kind I have? Their collection of rare tomes is unparalleled. I mean, nethery texts are hardly commonplace, but I'm certain they'll have one or two stashed away. You'll have to forgive my eagerness, but if my suspicions prove to hold water, this could be the answer to all our problems.